welcome again my friends today i got a question request on my instagram from one of my friends from that i think we can start a series for java problem solving truly i am not a pro developer but i think we can discuss the problem and solution together so let's uh, begin the video and uh, if you are uh, new in my channel uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel and turn on notification and uh, don't miss my next update let's uh, check the question the question was implement a class name random number the class should have uh, 5 times 5 2d array of uh, 25 integers so this kinds of array is called square matrix what is a square matrix a square matrix is a matrix that has uh, the same number of rows and uh, columns it's uh, called uh, n times n Okay, the next, uh, the constructor should use the random function to generate random number in the range of 1 to 100 for each element in the array. I mean, here the range is fixed. This uh, maximum is 100, not more than 100. And uh, the random number will generate within this uh, 100. Implement a method to calculate the minimum, maximum and average of the 25 values. And also implement a a method to display the values of array minimum maximum average of the 25 values so okay let's uh, open i open my eclipse id and create a new java project and uh, name it uh, which was the name is uh, random number the class name so create a project is random number next this is the follow and uh, finish don't create any module okay yeah, and now create a class uh, name it uh, random random number and include the public static void main okay uh, our uh, class is ready now the first thing is we have to create random number so there is a for java function is called random uh, take it uh, random equal to new random New random okay. so. import the random class interface. So. Import java dot uh, util dot stop okay. so it will automatically import all our record and uh, now create a array so let's say it's an integer type array and it's a 2d array so create a array new integer and uh, the length of the array is uh, fixed uh, we told 5 multiples times 5 okay we got our array now it's a uh, time to fill the array let's uh, do a comment fill the array so array with with a random number for that uh, we'll start a for loop i need here is a two for loop one for column and uh, one for row so integer i comma i less than we take the length of array array dot length array dot length so we sorry, sorry this should be semicolon so array dot length then i plus plus okay 
Weißt du, so. Array dot length and then i plus plus the increment of the i. It's the wrong way it's this is the error. Initialize a variable. Already initialize that variable. Okay, so this is i equal to zero. I start from zero and the i will be increments. So this is for column and this is for one for row. So integer j. J will also start from zero and uh, j less than array dot length and uh, j plus plus Array dot length. So now it's a uh, time to fill the array with the random number. We ch let check the array, and um, this is for column. This is for row. And uh, random dot next integer and uh, our length for the random number is. 100 so plus the variable is 100 and uh, now it's a uh, time to print the array let's make a comment print the matrix Sorry. print the matrix system dot System dot out dot print ln. Now it's uh, time to print the array. The matrix we has been created. So array the column and row plus space. Okay. And then just uh, create a new line. Control C, Control V. Okay, let's uh, run this code. It's working or not? So you can see we caught our uh, random number and array. But uh, what is the mistake here? We use uh, print ln, so it's creating the rows. So we got a random matrix here. It's uh, filled by the random number, the square matrix, and the number has been filled by the random number. So if the minimum max minimum number is uh, seven and maximum number is uh, ninety nine. Okay, now. It's a uh, time to um, calculate the calculate the minimum minimum maximum and average. For that we also need a few variables. First of need a counter counter uh, initial is zero. Counter is initially zero. We need sum integer sum to find out the average, and uh, we need uh, also minimum number minimum. So this is an array. So let's think that the index of zero is the minimum number of our array, and also integer maximum number also the same
we don't know which one is uh, maximum and which one is minimum so we are uh, taking it uh, the default initialing we are initializing that uh, the default is zero in zero index number is our minimum number or is our maximum number so take uh, one one for loop it is our i I just uh, copy it because it's uh, Sam. Okay, let's uh, copy the whole for loop here. This is yeah. Okay, now it's a uh, time to uh, get the sum from the array. So first. Uh, find out the sum from the array or uh, okay let's let uh, me find the minimum number if if minimum greater than array i j if minimum greater than the array first i and j this is the first number increment 0 and 0 then it will increment to 1 to this it will check one by one with the all element in that square matrix then <laughs> minimum will be the this array will be the minimum And now check another condition for maximum. If uh, max less than mm, array, let's say give a space here to look some. Then just uh, copy the code and paste it here. Okay. and uh, that will be the maximum that will be the maximum now now uh, calculate the sum calculate the sum and average so it already takes sum sum equal to sum plus Some plus array i then this is j and what should we do counter increment so it will check uh, one by one and uh, do the sum uh, do the sum No system out dot print really control x for this is the minimum number minimum number is a plus minimum to v and maximum number plus plus maximum and uh, average average number is uh, equal to sum divided by counter Save it and run it. So you can check out that we got our minimum number, we got our maximum number, and we got our average number. Mm.
So let's check that array. This is the minimum number is 3 and uh, maximum number is 92. There is no maximum more than 92. Uh, here uh, we took that uh, integer value. Mm, so for uh, sum, it can be double. It can be double. So okay, we can check out that we got our uh, average as a double variable in minimum number one and maximum number is uh, 90. So thanks for watching this video and hope you enjoy this video and um, if you have any problem or if you have any question about this program or solution, you can uh, comment in the comment box. I will reply you as soon as possible. So see you in next video and also if you have any problem, you can uh, send your problem in my Instagram. I will try to give you the solution.